Hey guys, it's your favorite YouTuber here, Blackout TW here, and today we'll be showing you how to install and play 5M with a couple of my top two favorite servers. Let's get started. Cue the intro. To get started, you're going to need to have GTA 5 on either Steam, Rockstar Games, or Epic Games. I'm not sure if you can pirate GTA, which is very sketchy. Um, but pirating GTA, I don't think it works with it. But we have Steam, Rockstar Games, and Epic Games. You need to have it installed, downloaded, and you need to be able to play the prologue. Once you finish the prologue, you can exit the game and continue with my steps. Alright, let's get started. You're going to want to download and go to 5m.net. 5m is a modification for GTA 5. This is no virus, all right? It's not going to give you a virus. I'm telling you. Okay, the the links will be down in the description. Make sure you do have these system requirements or your game will lag a lot. All right, so we're going to download the client. We're going to agree to the terms of service and agree. Now, when you open this, you're gonna get a pop-up box asking where do you have your GTA installation which I will show you in a sec so when you're looking for your steam installation of 5m you're gonna wanna head over to one of your discs you have save that for you're gonna look for your Windows 10 you're gonna look for the disk with the Windows symbol on it but my GTA is saved on another disk you're gonna look for games and then you're gonna select this folder GTA 5 and then you're gonna click select folder but I've already have it installed now let's go to epic games for epic games you're gonna kind of do the same steps you're gonna go over to your disk which what you're gonna look for is program files scroll down until you see epic games you're gonna double click epic games and you'll be granted with the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder you're gonna click that and click select folder now this is the one for Rockstar Games. You're gonna go to Program Files x86. Scroll down until you see Rockstar Games. Right here. Now you're gonna look for the Grand Theft Auto 5 voter folder. And then you're gonna click Select Folder. Now it's gonna ask you if you would like to download the game cache. You really need to download this. So click Yes and continue on with the process. I forgot to mention, you may need to sign up for a Rockstar Social Club account or log into your Rockstar Games Social Club account to continue on with the 5M process. Once your game is done installing, you should get a screen like this. Like this right here. It's going to say starting 5M. It's going to bring you to here and then the game is going to open like so. You are now in 5M. Now you're going to close out the game. Now let me show you why. If you didn't get the game on Steam, you're going to have to install Steam, log into your Steam account, or make a Steam account if you don't have one already, and open Steam. Now the reason why you have to open Steam is half of the time, a lot of servers use Steam verification using your Steam username and all that good stuff. If you would like to set your username to something different, you want us usually servers like it when you use a realistic name like John or Paul or like Jake, but I use my uh, IGN name. So now we're going to open backup 5M. Once 5M is open once again. We're going to head to one of a great server called Mayfair County. You can hop in any server you would like to, but Mayfair County is the one I'm going to be connecting to. You're going to get a screen like this and it should start downloading the content for the game. Usually most servers have a loading screen like this. Here's one of the great loading screens with music. So if you want to pause the music, it's usually space bar. You can click up here and all that good stuff this may take a little time to load it's based on network and your computer specs so we'll be back when this loads now 
when you have spawned into the game, you're going to want to go to your settings. The map may take long to load and your settings will be blank until take a little time to load. Well, we're going to go over to your voice chat settings first. You're going to make sure voice chat will be enabled and turn your output device to your headphones and all that good stuff. Turn up your voice chat volume to your amount you want to turn it up to. Turn, Make sure your microphone is enabled or people will not be able to hear you. And use push to talk because people who don't like voice activated and they consider it as mic spam. Now we're going to go to your gamepad settings. Actually, you're going to go to your key binding settings. You're going to click enter. And now you're going to go to uh, GTA Online. Select a push to talk button here, which is my push to talk button is my mouse button. And you should be good there. Apply those settings and go back to the settings menu. Now you're going to go to graphics. Now the reason why I want you to change your graphics, even though if you have great specs on your computer, is 5M cannot handle above normal graphics. Or your map is going to be glitching and you will be falling through the floor a lot. So what you're going to do is turn down your population density to zero, like so with your arrow keys. Turn your population variety down to zero and you can turn your distance scaling to anything I want. I use like about 50. Now you're going to turn down your texture quality to normal. Once you have do, done that, you need to restart your game. Once you have respawned, restarted your game, you should be back into your uh, 5M server that you chose. I suggest using Mayfair County. You can search it up in the 5M. It's really good server, great for beginners and great for people that like the roleplay. Now, how to play 5M. You're going to want to be realistic. So, we're going to start by making a character. You're going to go to your F1 menu because F1 menus do exist here. Click play related options. MP pet customization, create a, a male character. Now you can ad adjust your male character here with anything you want, any hairstyles, any colors, anything you want, basically. I'm just putting some random settings in here. Boom. Alright, so once you have your brand new character, you can, you can now drive a vehicle around. To spawn a vehicle in Mayfair, what you do is click Vehicle Related Options, Vehicle Spawner, and Sports. Or any vehicle class you want to drive. I'm going to open up a super, no, not a super, a sports vehicle. We're going to get the Mazda RX-7. Some vehicles may not load first time you click it because of your first time loading into that server. Now we can drive this around. And realistically, they want you to go to a mechanic shop to uh, customize these vehicles. Remember, you cannot respawn your vehicle over and over again because that will cause to you getting a kick or a ban on realistic lo role play like this shooting somebody for absolutely zero reason this is not regular gta online this is role play is also a bannable slash kickable events now let me show you some uh things of vdm let's say there's a person standing right here and i ran them over like this and just took off that's what you call vdm you will get kicked or banned for it. People do not like that. Now we're going to go over how to customize your vehicles and save it. Go to your vehicle related options, save vehicles, and save your current vehicles as anything you want. I'm going to save that as a Mazda. So yes, yeah, sure, spell it correctly. All right. Now you've saved your vehicle. If you would like to customize your vehicle before saving it, you're going to go to Vehicle Options, Mod Menu, and then you can put your vehicle attachments. Some vehicle attachments may look weird on some vehicles, like how the spoiler is hovering. Try not to use spoilers, but engine upgrades you can use, and they'll make your car way faster than they are before. Now, the police are real, if you don't know that. They're going to be real on-duty people. When they pull you over, you're just going to go pull to the side like so. You're gonna, they're going to tell you what you did wrong and all that good stuff. You can choose to run. You can choose. It's based on your choice. It's not based on RP. If somebody says in chat, I pull you over. What WDIF? WDIF stands for what do I find? You're going to put in chat. 
slash me and then clean the chat prefix is going to be t to open up the chat now let's do some driving around if you don't know how to play gta you might need to learn to do that first because it's basically gta is the base and then there's the rp factor to it and then the realistic factor to it and here is texture loss this is things happen like this and you fall to the floor you respawn it happens when you don't set the graphics thing it just happened because my map wasn't fully loaded and you take you take a second go around the map get that map loaded in now in the bottom left of your screen you're gonna see current aop current aop is the area of patrol so at the moment you spawned at the area of patrol which is los santos this area if you would like to you cannot go over here unless it's statewide or the AOP set to Sandy Shores or Polito Bay. Polito Bay. Polito Bay is over here. I think it's called Polito Bay. And and we have Blaine County, which is Polito and Sandy. And then we have statewide, which means you can play on the whole map. This is very strict. You can also get kicked or banned for it if you don't move it to AOP because it will make the role play not fun and probably a little bit unrealistic now we have priority cooldown which is in some servers it is in this server it's in the bottom left and priority cooldown means you cannot start any pursuits or start running from the cops or shoot people for no reason which is already a rule if you do that it will result in a kick slash ban and they will not help you we have bank robberies which you cannot do during that time during peacetime Peace time is a time where you can only use passive RP. So during passive RP, you're not allowed to shoot or kill anybody or violent roleplay at all. Now we're going to have some police pass us right here. And here is an active pursuit, what it looks like. And after this pursuit, it's very interesting to watch. And we're going to have some more police come up here. It is very interesting. Now, if you want to be a cop in your server, you need to look more into your server. But Mayfair is probably the really nicest server you can go on for beginners. I will leave the link down below in the chat. In the description, I meant. <laughs> And yeah, so that is all for the Mayfair County. I mean, the 5M tutorial and how to play. If you have any questions, ask me down in the description and I can help you. Thank you. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment, please. I work hard on these things and I have to edit them later. So, see you later.